Hi everyone, this is Michael from Ultimate Tech Hub. On today's episode of Home Automation, we're going to take a look at motorized smart shades from Alta Blinds. We'll look at the installation and setup, the Sophie remote, the Sophie app, and lastly, voice controls with Alexa. Alexa, lower both shades. Okay, here's Sophie Marlene. Let me close both shades. And remember, if you like these videos, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love them, hit subscribe. It's free. So we moved into our new home a few months ago, and our new home came with blinds throughout the house except for this three large panel sliding door. We weren't sure what to do with the sliding door, but after a couple weeks of research, we decided on motorized smart blinds. Now our decision was based on two factors. First, we wanted the three sliding doors to be covered but not completely blacked out. And we wanted the blinds to be easily opened and closed. We didn't like the idea of opening a couple of large bulky drapes every time we wanted to look outside into our backyard. So convenience played an important role in our decision. So once we decided on smart blinds, I called Jeff Wilcox from Blackjack Blinds. With Jeff's help, we decided on the color, fabric, and the density of the fabric, which means how much light can shine through it. And like I said before, we didn't want to totally black out the sliding doors, so we chose a medium density fabric to let some light in, but not too much. Next, we had to decide how many motors we needed. With three sliders, we could have up to three separate motors to control three separate shades. We decided to go with two motors controlling two shades. One motor would control the far right sliding door, and the second motor would control the large shade on the left that covers two sliding panels. Essentially, one motor controls one third of the sliding doors, and the other motor controls the other two thirds of the sliding doors. We chose this option because of cost. Each motor runs about $250, and by having only two motors, it saved us about $250. Not bad. The next decision is how to power the motorized smart blinds. There are a couple of options. One option is to have an electrician hardwire the two motors to an outlet near the blinds. This costs around $125. The other cheaper option is battery powered shades. We chose the battery powered option. Saved us $125. The batteries needed for these two motors are a total of 24 AA batteries. 8 AA's in the right side motor and 16 in the left side motor. The battery life for these motorized smart blinds are approximately one year depending on usage. And if you purchase a 48 pack of AA's at Sam's Club or Costco, it will cost you about $20, which means it will only cost you $10 per year to run these blinds. Let's take a look at the Sonify remote. Here are the up and down buttons to control the shades. The My button acts as a stop button when the shades are in motion. When the shades are stationary, the My button brings the shades to the program's favorite position. These four LED lights represent a different channel. Each channel represents a different motor. When all four LEDs are on, that represents the fifth channel, which we will use for the favorite position. The last button is the channel select button. Now let's set up the favorite position which we will use on the fifth channel. First thing is to move the shades to a position that you will use often. I will set mine to about a third of the way down. This position gives us light but blocks direct sunlight which is nice in the summer months. Next toggle the channel select button to the fifth channel. Now hold down the my button until both blinds move up and down. They call it jogging. So when your shades are closed, you can simply select the fifth channel and press my button. This moves both shades to the favorite position. You can also select a single channel and press the my button to move that single shade to the favorite position. Next, let's take a look at the Sonfi MyLink app. First thing to do is to download the app from the Play Store or iTunes. Next, you will need a Sonfi bridge. The bridge we installed is the Sonfi RTS module. This particular bridge is priced at $200 on Amazon. The RTS module can control 16 channels of motorized products. Next, plug the RTS module into an outlet near the shades. Next, launch the app and go to the RTS module. Use a paper clip and insert it into the top of the module and wait until the light turns green. Now your RTS module is set up and ready. Now with the app you can set up each shade or blind with a custom name and create scenes for each shade or blind. These are my blinds, right, left, and both. Tap each icon to control that specific blind or blinds. Let's take a look at the scenes I've created. A scene is what the shades do, like raise or lower. This scene is called Close Bow Shades. Let's go to the schedules. 
Within schedules, you can set the time for the scene or scenes to start. This schedule is called Close Shades, which closes both shades at 3.45 p.m. every day. This opens both shades at 7.50 a.m. every day. Finally, let's set up the Alexa voice commands. Simply go to the Alexa app on your phone, go to Skills and Games, and type in Sophie MyLink. Enable the Sophie MyLink Smart Home skill. You can now control your RTS Sophie motorized shades with Alexa. You can also add shades or blind controls to routines. Just start a new routine and add a scene. Easy. I want to thank you all for watching and being a part of the Ultimate Tech Hub. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do, it's free. And if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. Thank you again for watching.